Hey everyone, this is Daniel from the DRS team and today I want to show you how to use Postman with OAuth 2 in order to consume the Learn APIs. Uh, this guide is oriented for people who is seeking to test the Learn APIs and this could be achieved basically with Postman which is a great API test tool. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do is go to the developer.anthology.com site. Basically, this is the Anthology developer portal for all the Learn integrations. And in here, you will find basically all the Learn APIs that are publicly available. So if you go to here, uh, you will find basically all the list of uh, public APIs that uh, are available in Learn, for example, for integration purposes or for testing purposes, basically. So uh, in this video, I will be showing you the process in another Dev Portal instance. Uh, basically, this is for testing purposes, but it, the process is going to be the same, either if it's the production one or this instance. So I will close this. And in here, you will need to basically create an account or login to your developer portal account if you have already one created. So I will log in with my user basically. And in here, uh, I will need to create a new application in order to basically uh, make the API consumptions. So I will create a new application which is going to be REST application uh, API and the same description. And in here, the domain is not really important right now. So I will um, use uh, a sample domain and register the application. Uh, here, the developer portal will generate some values the application key, the secret, and the application ID. Uh, you should basically store these values because we will need them uh, in future steps. So actually I will not close this uh, window, so I will keep these values here. Uh, so you can go to the learn instance and log in as an administrator. So I will log into my Learn instance and you will need to go to the administrator panel and search for the integration section. And in this section, you will find the REST API integrations option. So this is the one that we will use. So here we will need to create a new integration, which is basically with the application ID that we just generated. So I will create a new integration here. And as you see, it will ask me for the application ID, which is this one, and a learn user. I will use the administrator user, but you need to have in mind that the user that you use here uh, could affect the way that the APIs behave. For example, I am using uh, the administrator here which has all the permissions enabled and will receive basically all the information from the APIs. But if, for example, you have a custom user and it doesn't have certain privileges, maybe the API won't return uh, all the information that you may need. So you have to keep in mind that the user using here uh, needs to have the privileges to basically um, make the API re requests and grant the information needed for your uh, test purposes. So I will submit this integration and here it is basically already created. So with this, we are good to go with the API consumption. So I will go back to my developer portal instance and I will open in a new tab again the Learn API list. So as you see in here, there is a Swagger uh, that JSON link. 
so I, I will open it. And this is basically a JSON file that contains all the Learn APIs that are showing here. So I could basically right click here and save this file. So I will save it as learnswagger.json in the donuts folder. Uh, so the, the file is already downloaded, so we're good to go. Uh, so I will open now Postman. Basically, this is the, the Postman um, program that allows us to test the APIs. So in here, there is a new import section. So I will import in here basically the Swagger file that we just downloaded. So I will basically drag it and drop it here. And as you see, Postman uh, will allow us to import a Postman collection from the Swagger file. So with this, we can basically click import and it will uh, generate for us a new collection with all the endpoints that are available in the um, dev portal site. So it will generate a list of all the endpoints that are uh, listed here. So it, it has complete. So as you see, it will gener generate a file structure with each of the versions of the APIs that are listed in the developer portal. For example, if we uh, want to use the users API, it's here in the version one and users folder. So this is really great which because it, it allows us to basically have all the APIs and test, it, test them as we need. Uh, for the authentication uh, for these APIs, we will need to go to the Learn APIs uh, primary folder. And here in the authorization part, or actually let's go to the variable side. And in here you will find the base URL, which is a variable from Postman that could be used in many places. So here we will need to basically put the URL for our learn site. So I will copy it here and don't forget to save these changes. And now that I have the variable, I could go to the authorization section. And basically here, Postman allow, allows us to use OAuth2 authentication. So I will use it. And here we need to specify certain values. In the configure a new token section under brand type, we need to select client credentials, which is the, the credentials that we are going to use from the developer portal. So we need to, to choose this option. And here in the access token URL, we could use basically the Postman variable that we just created. We just open two brackets and, and here it appears the base URL variable that we configured here in variables. So it will allow us to basically keep uh, these variables in, in many sites and don't have to specify them in uh, all the configurations. So it is really helpful. And now we need to um, attach to this URL the basically the, the Learn API public um, token endpoint. So this one is the one that we will basically uh, append to this URL. So I have already this one copied in another file. So I will basically paste it. And in here, we will need the client ID and the client secret that uh, the dev portal generated for us in the previous step. So if we go here, basically the application key is going to be the client ID 
that Postman is uh, requiring. And the secret is going to be the client secret that Postman requires also. So with these values, we should be good to go with the uh, authentication for, for this uh, Postman collection. So we just need to get a new access token. And as you see, it will uh, authenticate basically the whole folder for all the API consumptions. So this is the token that it generates. So it, it is a, a basically a bearer token, which is um, valid uh, for around one hour. So we can use this token. And once we use the token, we are allowed to basically use any of the API endpoints that we have in the learn and the, sorry in the Postman collection. So here I have, for example, the get users API endpoint. So uh, this will also allow us to basically uh, select or unselect the query parameters that we need for this API. For example. Uh, in this user's endpoint, I won't use basically any of the uh, available query parameters. So I will send the request. And the user is not authenticated. So let me generate another token. I will delete the previous one and use this one. Don't forget to save. And I sent a request and there we go. So we have all the users that are available in this instance from this API. So this is uh, the way that you could use basically all of the available API endpoints uh, that are uh, publicly, av publicly available from Learn. So this will allow you to basically test each one of them and uh, specify, for example, if you need to search for a particular username, you could add here, for example, this. And it will return, as you see, all the users that have this um, username included in the information that they have. So this is uh, an, a sample of an API consumption in Learn. So I hope this could help you a lot and thank you for your attention.